research tips from Monica Wahi of Death Wench Professional Services. Visit us at www.deathwench.com and let Death Wench do your data. Hi, this is Monica Wahi again from Death Wench Professional Services. We've been working with a data set of fake myocardial infarction, MI, or heart attack survivors, and we've been transforming that data set a lot. Now we're ready to start transforming it and start analyzing it. So let's version an analytic data set. Now what's an analytic data set? That's a data set that's perfectly curated in the sense that the only fields in that data set are either fields you got from the source, which you presumably understand you have their curation, and fields you made yourself with your data transformation code that hopefully you have a data dictionary set up and everything so all your programmers know where and what all the fields are and you can now go and publish an analytic data set so everybody can analyze it so now that you're ready to do that um, and you you know everybody's on the same page communication is the key I'm going to show you how to write out a CSV that everybody now can use for analysis so here's an example of the very simple write CSV code. So it says write CSV, and then here's the data set we're writing to disk, which is Timmy underscore B. And this is the name of the file we want it to be. Notice we add the dot CSV in there. So if you're wondering where this is gonna go, this is gonna go to wherever you specified, oops, gotta go on the console, uh, under change directory. Okay, and I specified our data folder, so I'm gonna copy this and paste it. And now we should be able to look in our data folder, and there it is. See that? All right, um, no problems, no worries, except when you go to do your analysis, and you open like an analytic script like here this one makes a Kaplan Meyer remember you have to read the, add this read table at the top so you have to read it back in kind of like a data step in SAS where you have to go here I'll show it to you you have to go and read it in because let's say you fire up R and you go to analyze stuff it's not gonna have Timmy B in memory unless you run all that code or you run this read table code here. So that's basically what you tell yourself and your programmers is from now on Timmy B is our analytic data set and you should read it in at the beginning of all your analytic code. All right now that you've published your analytic data set guess what's going to happen? Everybody's going to work with it. They're going to write a bunch of papers. They're going to make a bunch of variables. They're going to want to share the variables. They're going to want to make basically a new analytic data set. You're going to want to reversion it. So you're going to want to update your creation materials, update your data dictionary, communicate with everybody, and redo it all over again. This is Monica Wahi from Deathwench Professional Services reminding you to let Deathwench do your data. If you like these research tips, visit us at deathwench.com and let Deathwench do your data.